Hello everybody! Welcome again to my YouTube channel, May Fine Art. And today, our episode is about continuing painting this portrait painting. And it is a commission painting. And this the title of this portrait painting is Gloria. In this portrait painting, I'm also painting the background. And I'm painting the lovely bouquet of flowers. And as you can see, I'm using a grading system and grading or scaling system. I sketch the uh, portrait or the figures, but first I do the lines and then referring to the photos, I check it one by one and see that it's in the right place. So also the background like this, flowers and the bouquet and all the things that is in the photo requested by the owner. So I'm trying to slowly but carefully paint it one by one. So guys, I hope that you'll enjoy this artwork painting, portrait painting. And for those who are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe, like, and comment. I would be glad to see what is your idea of this portrait painting. And I'm also receiving commission work, so you can always contact me. And I have my Facebook account, May Tabalon Fine Art. And you can contact me there and link is also there is also a link of my website where I portray all the paintings that I made since, uh, since 2007 so I hope guys that you will take time to check all my website and links uh, down below in the description box so guys I also want to share to you that during this time of corona pandemic um, there are times that we feel so down or depressed and I want to share to you guys how we can overcome those struggles in our lives through art so sometimes we feel so much stress with our everyday life and not only that with the bad news that we hear like all over the world mostly countries are struggling in battling this uh, corona pandemic like in our country now here in Europe in Belgium this is our fourth wave and we are still in the peak um, level where so many infections are still um, not yet yeah it's not yet controlled like we thought that the vaccination that was made by the government was enough to combat the infections and they make some bad decisions to to just open up again or not use mask and so many so many infections are happening once again so this all of this because of the pandemic our contacts with our friends with this the normal things that we we do before that seems it's just you know part of day to day that day to day life are all gone and suddenly we are all living in like yeah a society where we are, we are all limit, limited and we need to be controlled to be checked so that we cannot infect other people so all of these things guys seems seems so stressful right and in my personal experience I'm also battling about this problem and one way to to release that or to make your mind not always thinking with these problems is true art so I want to share to you guys some of my thoughts about it the world is stressed out by coronavirus, right? And according to a recent survey, like nearly half 
This is a survey that was done in America. So nearly half of Americans are anxious about contracting COVID-19. And 4 in 10 Americans are worried about getting seriously ill or dying for it. As we know, America is like number one, if I'm not wrong, of so many deaths all around the world. No, I'm not so sure if they are really number one, but they have like more than 700,000 deaths, right? So it's like so much, right? So somehow freedom also costs something, right? Like that, if you're not so yeah strict or you don't follow rules or it's just like it doesn't matter, then yeah, you cannot see it. You cannot see the enemy. It's a virus. Yeah, and businesses are shutting their doors. So many people lost their work, jobs, markets are falling, and we may be headed toward a global recession. So if you will check the news, also. So many things are getting expensive, like the energy and the, the value of your money is not the same as last year. It's getting, you know, lesser and lesser and it's just, it's just not easy to survive day to day, mostly for those just, just, uh, just normal people, right? So these things create stress in our day to day life. However, we should not feel too hopeless though. There are simple tasks like, for example, maintaining a regular schedule, getting a good night's sleep, and, et and eating healthy that help fight feelings of depression, stress, and vulnerability. This is also a great time to develop more eco-friendly habits and reconnect with the outdoors, maybe through a good nature book or a hike, right? Yeah, as a family, we also have experience like sometimes we just want to walk in the neighborhood just to feel the fresh air, not really spending a lot, but just to have this family time doing simple things. But lately, guys, a growing number of people are getting even more creative with their coping methods so like they're making art and photography music painting and drawing are keeping people busy and distracted from the stresses of COVID-19 so like music in particular has always brought people together right especially in difficult times and if you listen to music, then it gives you some good feelings. And songs are helping like, for example, neighbors in Italy and students from Berkeley to stay connected during this pandemic. And also guys, art doesn't just unify us. It, it physically benefits us too. There was a study, guys, that shows that spending just 45 minutes on an art project can relieve stress and it can strengthen critical thinking skills and improve and sustain memory. So I hope that we can also have the time to just release our stress through art. One of the there was a person who who just made an art. Her name is Kate Wood and she made an art and it's about just painting simple things that she observed around her environment with the use of acrylics and oil. Quote unquote, the science behind art to combat stress is really strong. So I have a sort of scientific faith that what I'm doing is going to help me, said Katie Wood, the conservation and biodiversity manager at Earth Day Network. When I'm looking for a night to escape a little bit, art has been it. I sing or play guitar and I paint. So basically, it somehow helps us to combat those worries, to keep our mind busy, to keep ourselves more um, preoccupied with those 
things that we can really do we can we have some control right because we should accept that so many things that is happening in our society we just have no control about it they're just you know some some kind of distractions in in yourself to grow to do things that you really love that will just ruin your day like reading some negative news it's like oh my it, it just ruined your day so but don't you worry guys if you're not the best of most experienced artists yeah not all of us are gifted with art right this relaxing benefits are felt in artists of every level from amateurs to professionals so one person his name is austin dons he said i'm not an artist but it's something i can do to get myself self out of a root so he's just saying guys that through starting doing art it helps him to just you know make make some nice things to do during the day and just forget those difficult things that is in the news or what is happening around there yes i've got my set up and i play music uh, i play classical music while i'm doing this master strokes of course they're awful but it's nice to have that personal time so it doesn't really necessary that you will paint like the best like the masters gets no it's not but how you you keep yourself busy and to create in your own way to feel it that moment the process of painting that's what it counts there is also a neurobiologist Simmer Siki found that just viewing art causes joy similar to the sensation of falling in love have you ever went to a museum guys and for example there's a f that famous painting of Mona Lisa and you went there and then you look at the painting and then you just oh it's just so beautiful so guys viewing art also relieves mental exhaustion in the same way that the outdoors does like walking in the nature losing oneself in music and admiring art directly influence health and life expectancy so even without our daily dose of nature art can help definitely better yet artwork focus on saving and appreciating the planet can make a real difference so this earth day networks uh, artists for the earth this is a sort of campaign that connects earth artists art organizations and the public to engage in environmental issues when i was in my home country in the philippines we always have this activities for for school children like we make a theme and we paint something like for example environment we used to join some contests like water for the water district competition co competition children are stimulated to be critical thinkers and and they show how they can help the environment by like conserving water and how to value water and give importance to water for because without the without um, this it greatly affects us in our health so true art what i'm trying to say is true art guys people or children can express the value of things around them right so through paintings and also songs you can inspire and encourage others to take action by, by voting green or fighting for conservation no matter how far apart we are art can help us relax and bring us closer together so for example i am also a nurse I'm also like enjoying portraying art and at the same time fighting what I think that is best in terms of healthcare, um, things that should be 
should be addressed for healthcare workers or for example for how to to cope for this pandemic for example i made some paintings about giving more information about a vaccine giving more information on how the healthcare workers should be treated like they're they are heroes they're considered heroes but they're also humans physically yeah we are humans we have our limits so i make some paintings about um, healthcare workers nurses who are praying so guys if you have some time you can always check the list of my videos and i would greatly appreciate it and you can always drop some comments about it guys let me also share to you how the pandemic has affected our mental health according to the cdc the pandemic has been the source of many mental health challenges most have been related to illness and death caused by the disease physical distancing and even stay-at-home orders a recent survey done by the cdc revealed that cases of anxiety disorder and depressive disorder increase considerably between April and June in the United States. Of those who participated in the survey, 40.9% reported at least one mental or behavioral health condition, anxiety, depression, trauma, and stressor-related disorder or even increased substance abuse. Some survey participants even reported that they considered suicide in the 30-day period before they recorded their responses. Here in our country, here in Belgium, we have this online or hotline where people can just call if they feel like they're so depressed or they want to commit suicide it is a reality guys that we should not ignore if we have these feelings of you know suicidal tendencies after experiencing so much loss it's not hard to get stuck in a loop of sadness and despair it's also understandable if you feel lonelier than usual or have an even greater need to remain isolated. However, maintaining personal connections is one thing that we can control. And when all hope is lost, the people we love can help us remember that good things still exist in this world. So guys, how art can help you or, or can help anybody during these difficult times? As an art therapist, Tami Shala has seen how creativity can ease stress and help people process the heaviness that they are dealing with. While your stick figures or crocheted toilet paper covers won't win you any awards, creating them can help nurture your inner artist and help you find some peace. Quote unquote, we all we all draw, it's a natural form of expression, and expressing ourselves visually is human nature. Sometimes it's hard for us to say things because the verbal side of your brain and the visual side of your brain are two different paths. For example, post-traumatic stress is stored in the non-verbal areas of our brain. That is why people who have PTSD or the post-traumatic uh, symptoms disorder are triggered, triggered by things like sights, smells, colors, or sounds that remind them of the trauma that occurred. In their case, talking about the event won't always bring up the trauma. So be 
because of that, just talking about things won't necessarily help them heal. Says that um, that physical or that art therapy session. I wanna say something about the art and the flow state. When you're creating art, whether it's writing in a journal, singing or making a card, you're getting into what's called a flow state. There is a one psychologist, his or her name is Mihaly Cheskent Mihalye, one of the co-founders of positive psychology, describes flow state as a period of optimal attention. During this time, you are in the zone and completely focused on the task at hand. You're not worried about the time, bodily sensations, or any other needs, and working on your creation can be quite euphoric. When we go there, we can stimulate our minds, embrace mindfulness, and experience feelings of accomplishment or mastery. There is an article that says why we should create art for others. Another benefit of tapping into our creativity is that we can use it to come up with new ways to connect with people who are important to us. Communication has become so easy. We can text. We can just pick up the phone and call people. We can get a hold of someone across the country or FaceTime them immediately. Everything is just so handy with this modern technological world. The neat thing about making cards or writing letters is that you, ex you can express yourself in ways that you wouldn't necessarily express yourself face to face. Did you ever experience guys making some art or cards or writing something for your, uh, for your loved ones and you really think over and over what you will write? So for you, that is something valuable that takes time, takes some effort. For example, telling someone that you love them can sometimes be, can sometimes be difficult to do verbally, right? But it might be easier to write it in a letter or a card. You can express your feelings and you don't have to worry about any awkwardness after the recipient reads it. Painting or showing some artworks and giving it to the someone to someone you love is something valuable that it makes that person also happy that you spend some thoughts about that project or that art artwork another nice reason why it's very motivating to paint during these difficult times is creating art can be a selfless act it becomes an altruistic act even though you're not there to gain the reward of seeing the person get the card or letter you know the, res the recipient will feel good when you when they open it it lets them know that someone was thinking about them it makes them feel like they're cared for and knowing this makes us feel good too when you can think outside of yourself, it opens you up and broadens your perspective. You don't need expensive supplies, and your art doesn't have to be perfect. With the holidays approaching, writing letters or making your own cards are wonderful ways to connect with the special people in your life. If you're not really a wordsmith, then with your art and your craft you can really enjoy spending time with your friend and showing how how much you love them there's really no wrong way to do it 
someone is going to appreciate your finished piece because you made it for them. The skill level doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts. So guys, thank you so much for once again spending with me in uh, this artwork tutorial or artwork vlogging. And thank you so much for listening to this blog and I hope guys that you can be able to also spend time in doing art especially if you feel so down and I hope that it can personally help you to go through this very stressful time during this pandemic so for all of those who are not yet subscribed to my channel I am May, May. my name is May and my channel is may fine art and every week i am uploading a video an art video and i'm also having some travel vlogs and random vlogs in my channel and sometimes i feature my family and generally my life what i do to stay happy stay healthy so i hope you guys that everything that i share in this channel will be appreciated and thank you so much and i hope that um, i can also hear from you and there's a comment box below you can always write down your comments so once again thank you so much and i hope that you have a wonderful day bye